All right, folks, welcome back. I got a review here I've been dying to do for a while now. This is the Winter Real Coffee Percolator. All right, thanks for joining me. I wanted to show you this thing today. Um, picked this up a while back, and uh, I've wanted one for a while. What I really was looking for was one of those old-fashioned uh, espresso makers and they're kind of shaped like a like a diamond in and out. But I really couldn't find any, you know, locally, and I didn't want to buy a new one. So I figured I'd pick this one up and take a look at it and see how it works. Um, I've used it a few times. I'm actually impressed. It works very, very well. Now, my use for this thing. Would I put it in a bug out bag that had to be light and fast? <clears throat> no, I wouldn't. It's, you know, long. It's big. It's not heavy. You know, it's, I think they say it's 1.3 pounds. It's not ridiculously heavy. And this unit itself is actually pretty light. Um, and it has a little bag, a little mesh bag that comes with it. And everything fits inside. It comes with two cups. So, I mean, it's not ridiculous. It's not like a putting a coffee percolator in there. <laughs> you know, a huge one. But uh, it's, it's not something I'd probably carry in a bug out bag. But is it something I'd use in a power outage in my house? If I lived in an apartment and didn't have a lot of storage area and wanted a backup coffee maker? Perfect, you know? Um, at a bug out location, at a hunting cabin, absolutely. So it's, uh, what is it, 9.5 inches tall, 4 inches wide, comes with the two cups. However, I did notice um, when I've used this a few times, I don't know if I'm not putting enough water in, I was told to fill up the water line to this little pressure release valve here. So maybe I'll put a little more in today and we'll try it out. Um, it makes a full cup and like a, a third of a cup. <laughs> so, I mean, it works. Um, this has lots of uses. You know, you can use it backpacking, camping, going to the beach, whatever you want to do. I don't know that it would be a bug out item, but it would definitely be a bug out location item. Um, comes with the two cups. This piece here, which comes apart. And yes, that sounds like nails on a chalkboard. That's just how it is. This is your coffee holder in the middle there. The actual percolator. When you put this together, here's another tip if you do decide to get these. This rubber here, when I first received this, this rubber was pinched. It was pinched under. I don't know if that'll show up on the camera. But what I did was I pulled it out, straightened it out. You want to make sure this is fully in all the way around. See how that's not in? You want to push that in all the way around so it's nice and sealed. And it'll take a few, you know, a few seconds to learn how to do it really good. Of course, I'm on camera now, so it's going to take forever. <laughs> there you go. So you got it in there pretty good. Or do I? No, I didn't. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. When we actually brew it, I'll put it in there good. Um, it snaps right in. It, it's one of those things that when you get it, it's just like, oh, and it pops right in place. So it's real simple. So anyway, you fill this up with water. Fill it up to about here, the line. Uh, I might go a little bit above that. Not over the actual valve itself, but a little bit higher than the pressure release valve. Just because I want to see if it um, will fill up two cups fully. This is your top piece here. What happens is this water starts boiling down here and it works just like a regular percolator. Pressure builds up, comes through the tube here, comes through that, and boils up through the top. It's a neat little system. I really enjoy using it. Um, I just wish it was lighter. You know, I wish, I wish it all came apart so I could put it in a bug out bag because I love my coffee. And I'll tell you something, when you're cold, there is nothing better than a nice warm cup of coffee. But I'm going to set this all up and I'm going to demo it for you. And uh, we'll be right back when I get it all set up. All right, now again, this gets as strong as you want it, you know. If you really want really, really strong coffee, you can fill this thing up and you can tell. That's a whole lot of coffee for a whole little amount of water. The first time I made this, it was like, I don't know, I was in the middle of a, an Italian cafe drinking espresso hot from a machine. It was so dark. It was really good if you like that kind of coffee, but it was really, really dark. So I'm going to go about midway on this. A little quarter cup measure here. Nothing really all that fancy or scientific. I think I'll do one little, one little bit scoop more because I do like it kind of strong. There you go. All right. Now, sorry, folks, battery died. <laughs> anyway, I got this all sealed up all the way around. Now we're gonna put the water in there. I got some coffee grounds in there too by mistake. We're gonna put the water in a little. Uh, bottom part of the pot. Alright. I'm just going to 
fill it up. Right under the pressure release valve. A little bit higher than I did the first few times. Put that on there. And you screw this down, and you screw this down tight. Um, the first few times I was worried about damaging it. I watched some other reviews of people that have used these kind of coffee makers. And they say, don't worry, screw it down on there nice and tight. Because you want that seal. I got, you know, a little leaking out on the sides. You want that seal to hold. Now we're just using the old uh, E-Tech City stove here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> All right. We're going to put them on top. And I'll bring you back right before it's about to, uh, to uh, start percolating. Here we go, folks. Coming right out. Look at that. Looking good. I'll get you a look inside the cup. That's about to fill up, so I better put the other cup under there. Whoa, that's hot. There we go. I put this behind it so you can kind of see it coming out. And it does get a little messy towards the end there, so I'm going to turn the heat off. There we go. So, let's see how we did coffee-wise. Let me move the camera back and uh, clean up the mess here, and I'll show you how we did with the coffee. All right, we're back, and I'll show you what we got here. We got, I don't know, about, if you were to do two of these, you get about three quarters of a cup of coffee each. Personally, I'd do one and have another for the overflow. Um, let's take a look. Take a taste, I mean. Yeah, that's good. Still a little too much coffee for your average person, but I love it. <laughs> I like my coffee incredibly dark. Um, but uh, it's, it's really good. It's a handy little thing to have. Um, really the main reason for this is it's good for, um, you know, in your own home. If you don't have enough room, if you're in a very small apartment and you want to have coffee, you want to have, you know, you can do tea in this too. You want to have that during a power outage or whatever, um, it would work perfectly. If you want to take it camping, you know, if you're car camping, no problem. Um, I like it. I mean, I really like it. It does get very hot. I'm picking it up by this, but the rest of this is very, very hot. So you got to let it cool down. But uh, it's, it's a neat little uh, percolator, and it's very handy. And even if you're not into prepping and survival and you just stumbled upon this video, it's kind of a cool thing to have, even if you don't camp. So anyway, that is the Winter Real Coffee Percolator, and we will put a link in the description for you. Coming up soon, I have some um, Thrive Life stuff coming up. I'm going to be doing some uh, cooking of their uh, ready meals, which is basically like camp food type stuff. Um, so make sure you subscribe if you want to check that out. There's lots of deals to be had on it. So we will be back with that stuff too. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.